The Aussie Bike or Hike Kickstarter is a two-day event for people getting into adventure riding, even for those who have just got their license. Alex and the crew invited me along to capture the event, which was also a perfect opportunity for Chris to refine her skills and get some solid seat time. The event combines tuition and a tour. The first half of the first day is drills to cement in some basic adventure riding techniques. The little things that make riding these bikes easier and more enjoyable. <laughs> After the provided lunch, we then headed out for a half day tour to Gloucester. Spent um, probably four or five hours um, at Fine Line at the training centre there on the 10 acres and did all our different drills that we needed to do. And you know, I could sense there were some nervous people at the beginning. There were some really nervous riders. It's easy. We got this. So, what we want to look at now is just walking the bike. Okay, because it's amazing the number of people that tip over in their garage at home, especially if you're out on the trail and you've got to walk that bike over some kind of obstacles, maybe. See, that's what you can do while standing. Just use the side of your boot to lift it into the next gear, instead of trying to get your whole foot under the gear lever. So I have had a license for 40 years, but only just got back into motorbike riding. So I wanted to develop my uh, skills and this is a fantastic way to do it. I've learned so much from Shane, he's a wealth of knowledge and happy to, yep. to share his knowledge. I'm uh, a complete, not novice, I've been doing it for six months. Because it just gives you that refresher, you know, everybody's watched the Chris stuff, you know, the Chris yeah. Burke, you know, we've all done that. But um, yeah, just to actually be able to have a, a refresher, just, and it's just simple things. Yeah. Because you're always learning. How you on? These are all the little things that will make it easier. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Head up. That's it. Thank you. Everything that's new will feel uncomfortable for a little while until you get the hang of it. Okay, so basically what it means is, I, we recommend you sit up close to the front of the tank and just get used to it, alright? It is a fairly steep descent, but it's not a big one, it's not long, it's fairly steep, but it's not gonna get, you're not going to go over the handlebars if you keep moving. time to test out some of these skills so we're going to head south and then west through Gloucester and then do a bit of a loop around the western side and then come back down to Gloucester for the night. Some stunning roads on the edge of the Gloucester tops. has designed a route that introduces riders to the typical challenges and the obstacles they'll encounter such as causeways and uneven terrain while at the same time having the confidence by being backed up by a support crew the time you get to spend with Alex and Shane and those and you know and the guys learning the stuff before you come out 
it's just invaluable. Yeah. And then all the little tidbits as we've been riding around. It's really well organised, felt really safe, had a small issue with my bike. The guys sorted out really quickly, yeah, without any effort. And everyone's been very friendly and it's quite social and people swap ideas and swap information. So yeah. for me, I found it really, really useful. <laughs> Now that we've got our dirt legs, we're going to get them wet with some creek crossings. There is a few of them along this route, so there's plenty of practice. go up the colder it gets and oh my goodness it's just like you've jumped into a nice cool shower it has been so hot I've uh, I must admit the last stop I was struggling a little bit like I was so hot that I was kind of feeling just a, you know, not a hundred percent oh my god this coolness like it's got to be 10 degrees at least cooler like down where we were where we stopped just a minute ago it would have been Easily in the 40s, easy, easy. I've always said 28 degrees Celsius is like the perfect temperature for riding a motorcycle, and this has got to be pretty damn close to that. 
We're uh, 20 k's out from Gloucester and a nice cool sealed run for the home stretch is uh, pretty damn nice and this is a very nice road. I think it's Scone Road coming into Gloucester and it's a stunner. Just rolling down the hill, standing up, legs spread. Oh, so good. <laughs> Reserve already. Yeah. You're already on it. I just it on. Oh, you plugged it on now. Yeah, it should be right. It's only 10 k's. Yeah, so you'll be fine. Welcome to Barrington. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. There's a pool. I reckon I've got tights I can go in. The best thing about adventure riding is the shower at the end of a hot and sweaty day. And after a meal at the Gloucester Bolo, Shane gave everyone a rundown on some of the basic equipment that all riders should carry with them. Where you can send uh, basically like text messages via satellite. This stuff doesn't weigh a whole lot, which is important because you know, weight's an issue when you're, when you're riding off road or dirt roads and stuff. Often when I've got to take the wheel out of my bike, for example, or do some work on my bike, uh, if it's a basic kind of job, because I'll often discover I need another spanner for that job, or I need there's another tool I need for that job which I should start carrying with me. Uh, yeah, everyone fill up their bikes, so your bikes all 100% right. Yeah, yeah, good. Main thing is, have breakfast before you leave, Bikes are full, which is good, and we're going to leave 9am on the dock. So have your bags and things in the trailer. Day two starts after a good rest and a great breakfast at the Roadies Cafe. Ready to roll. <laughs> Breathing in the last of September. I can feel the wind blow. And the late summer sky is like a giant ember. Everything is turning into gold. When the autumn The 200km route involves taking the long way back to Taree via a few familiar spots to anyone who has been watching the Sydney to Gold Coast series. The last days of September.
you how to do a three point turn on a motorcycle on a hill. If you're uh, vertically challenged and you like to have two feet out when you stop, then all you do as you ride up the hill is just stall the bike. Let the clutch out, because that way you can have two feet on the ground and the bike's just stalled and it's in gear. There's a little bit of an uphill here behind you now, so let the clutch out if you need to. That's a good spot, so now you've, you've actually hit a spot where you're uphill at the back, so now you can lean it over to your left again and swing that steering wheel to the back. often involves pushing yourselves just past your comfort zone so we're heading up a slightly more interesting path. many times I always came off. <laughs> Holidays. But did you? That, that's at the moment you think that that's what it is. Yeah but it moves around that's what it does. We stop for lunch at the stunning Ellenborough Falls. At 200 meters it's one of the highest single drop waterfalls in Australia and once we had topped up our food tanks we're now heading back south down to Taree. confident and refining some of those basic skills. If you're just getting into adventure riding and looking to refine some of those skills, I would highly recommend this event. <laughs> 